everyone. Welcome to Serving Up Plumbing with me, David Butler. Today we're going to be talking about tank water heaters and water softeners when they're combined with each other and what happens. Before we do that, please hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. All right, tank water heaters and water softeners, what happens? So if you have a water softener, they use salt. Salt means that you've got salty water, and we all know what salt water does if you've ever been to the beach or the coast, what it does to houses, ships, everything that's on the coast gets rusty and corroded. Well, water heater tanks, electric or gas, are made out of iron. Now, we had a video talking about the glass lining on them, and that is great. It helps protect them a tremendous amount, but it doesn't do it 100% because water is a solvent. And when we put salt in that water, it's even worse. Now, we have anode rods that we've mentioned in the water heaters. Those anode rods protect the tanks under normal conditions. But when we add salt to that water, when we have a brine tank softener, and even though it's a small amount of salt, that makes it much more corrosive. The anode rods deplete much faster, which then means once the anode rod's gone, the tank starts getting eaten up. In fact, most tanks that aren't protected any other way than just a standard anode rod that are put on a brine tank softening system, they go out within one to two years. And when I say go out, that means they rust a hole through them and start leaking. What does this mean? Well, if you have a brine tank water softener, which is salt water softener or a softener, not a conditioner, conditioners won't do this, but softeners, we need to do something extra to protect them. And what is that? We need to use electric anode rods. Now there are two or three manufacturers. There's not very many, but there are a couple out there. One is Coro Protec, and the other is Product Preservers, which is manufactured by state water heaters. Now, an electric anode rod protects the heater for the life of it. It has a little sensor that tells you when the anode rod's working properly, or if it's not working properly. Alarm will go off, lights will flash, and it'll tell you, hey, your anode rod's not working properly, we need to replace it or we need to figure out what's going wrong with it. But it does protect your water heater 24 hours a day, seven days a week. How does it do that? Well, the water has a, just a slight electric charge to it. And sometimes that electric charge can drop a little low. Well, the electric anode rod adds to that electrical charge and makes it the proper charge so that the salt doesn't attack the tank it keeps that electric charge in such a way, it keeps it from attacking the iron in the tank. That's what the electric anode rod does. And it can work on any water heater. In fact, it would protect any water heater better than a standard anode rod. But it's definitely necessary when you have a tank type water heater on a brine tank softening system. You don't wanna be without it. If you don't do this, most of the manufacturers will not warranty their tanks if you don't have the electric anode rod. and if you didn't use the electric anode rod, you'd literally have to replace the standard anode rod about every year, which is a big pain. And that gets expensive too, because those anode rods are about 50 bucks a piece. Another thing an electric anode rod can do for you is it helps with smells and odors that come out of the water. Sometimes electric tanks and gas tanks, if the water's not used for a while, it can start having an odor. And the electric anode rod will help to protect against that. And of course it helps with stopping scaling and corrosion in the tank. Electric anode rods generally come in two sizes, one that goes from a 30 gallon heater to a 70 gallon heater, and then one that you use on 75 up to about 100 gallons. You need to make sure and have the correct one or it won't properly protect your tank. The electric anode rods don't require any maintenance, but you do need to check them every now and then to make sure that they're still operating properly. And again, it shows right on the controller, the lights flashing and different things. It'll have a green light if it's working properly, It'll have flashing lights, one, two, or three, if there's a problem with it. Sometimes it can be repaired, sometimes it has to be replaced. And that's the basics of an electric anode rod. You need to have one if you have a brine tank water softener. If you wanna protect a tank top water heater without a brine tank softener, it's gonna do a great job doing that as well. Electric anode rods, a great invention. They hadn't been out that long either. But if you have a brine tank softener, make sure and get one. I hope you liked the video today. If you've got that silky, slimy water that feels like you never washed the soap off of it, you better make sure you have an electric anode. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment if you have something to say about electric anode rods. Always remember, just tell your friends, the butler did it. 